This video is made possible through a partnership with Humble Bundle. As a Humble Partner, all Humble Bundle purchases through the links in the description below will help support the channel. I know this is a Humble Partnered video and I'll tell you all about the bundle later, but this is a perfect time to remind you that I still have an Amazon storefront, so please check it out in the description below. I know that guy, he's the one that took mine! She happens to have a mind of her own, you know. Mine chose to join our side with her own free will. And you wanna know why? She was sick of taking the back seat while you got all the fame. Then I stepped in and changed all that. You messed with her head. That's what you did. Joey, you have a choice. Get out, be like a bat of hell, do the Naruto one. Uh, climb up the tall skyscraper and call my name from the heavens. I never back down from a challenge. Well, I bricked. 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 Turn one. I bricked. I am in deep. Wano. Wait. What? Twice? Huh? The heck? Excuse me? What just happened? I think I blinked? Uh, uh, how do I stop my soul being taken? Uh, do over coin. If you don't prick, you're prick. Now what the hell do I do? I activate the claw of Hermos, and I'll combine it with Rocket Warrior in my hand to form the Rocket Hermos Cannon. Its effect equips it onto Lord of the Red, and this allows Lord of the Red to attack twice. And I'll also use Lord of the Red's effect since an effect is just activated. Destroy one spell or tracker on the field. Get rid of your Sakurai's armor. I think that's I think that makes three. So that so whatever that face down is is useless. I'm a freaking genius. I'm Joey Willow. I'm the fucking hero. Two duels left. If I can get through this with my soul intact, that'd be great. All right. Next duel. Grappling with a guardian. What's going on here? Don't you see? Joey must have defeated Valen, and then Mai showed up. She did this to him. I'm sure of it. That's true. However, there's only one person we can really blame for all this, and I think you know who I mean. He hides safely in his fortress while others do his dirty work. Well, not anymore. Um, there's one convenient little thing they left out. Um, at some point, in, there's a reason why Yami Yugi's showing up and not the real Yugi. See, at some point amidst all this, one of them challenged Yugi and actually gave him the seal card and a fit of... In a fit of rage, he pretty much used it, but lost anyway. So Yugi, the real Yugi, the kid Yugi, ended up being the one getting his soul taken, so Yami could stick around and continue to duel. Because he's the stronger one. It was actually a heroic move on Yugi's part, but then we still... But then we can't forget that because his soul was taken by the seal, it also scrambles his brains. Because at one point, they end up in like one of those spiritual areas where spirits can get resurrected. And they brought in Joey's. They brought in Yugi's spirit from the seal. But since it was tainted by the seal, he kept lashing out and blaming the Pharaoh for his actions. And. And the, and the tainted soul tried to duel the Pharaoh in order to pretty much drag him down. But the Pharaoh won. Again. But I guess we don't have to deal with that in this arc. Yugi arrived at Darch's fortress. Paradius? 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 Something. Headquarters. And found an unconscious mind. My, say something! She must have been in a duel. And it appears she lost both the duel and her soul. I must put an end to this. It's about time you showed up. This doesn't concern you, Raphael. I'm here to see darts. Is your ma is your master so much of a coward that he sent you to do his battles for him? 
Not quite. But first, why don't you take this? It's the Claw of Hermos, Joey's card. So you're the one who defeated Joey, aren't you? Actually, my beat Joey. Then I defeated her. But why? Wasn't my on your side? I never trusted her. And it turns out I was right all along. After she took Joey's soul, she turned on us. Biggest mistake she ever made. Hmm. It makes me think of a possible duel theory that could go with, like, Rose Primula? Is that her name now? In Duels of Cyber Realm? But maybe we'll- maybe I'll just keep that my little secret. Wake up! Can't you see that your so-called Master Darts is just using you to satisfy his own selfish needs? If you really want to save the world, then stop fighting me and join my side. As soon as the Great Beast is revived, I'm afraid your side will no longer exist, Pharaoh. All it needs to get started is one more strong soul, and the Sacred Seal of Orange Chicken will take care of that once I take you down. The winner leaves a free man, and the loser becomes a prisoner to the Beast. You're wrong. If that's what it takes to set my friends free, then let's duel, and once you're out of my way, I can go straight for darts. I like playing darts. This has nothing to do with card games, but I miss the days when I could just walk into a local pub and throw darts at a thing. My aim's not usually good. People may ask if it's because I am just uncoordinated, or is it because I drink a lot of Mr. Pip? To which I say, yes. Well, that's a stupid thing. Apparently there's a video size limit to this phone, so I had to start capture again. But thankfully we got took care of that just in time. Uh, I miss using my camcorder. It was so much easier. Okay, what's in my extra deck? Claw of Haramos monster. Eye of Tamias monster. Eye of Tamias monster. I have neither Eye of Tamias nor Claw of Haramos. Set a card, then I will set a monster. No return. Not enough points! Defected! Monsters I control can't change their battle positions because he has gravity axe. So, Big Shield Garden is pretty much left wide open now. I'll set a monster. End my turn. The music's still pretty good, though. Although I really wish they could have used some like. Holy crap! What the frick was he thinking? Anyway, I wish they could have added like the original Seal music. I don't know if they have the English one, but I remember the Japanese one was used at one point as the music for Dueling Nexus before they updated it. Ow! How do I beat a monster that size? Um... 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 Does he still have the gra- Did he bring back the gravity axe? No, he did not. The 2600 defense isn't going to be enough to, to stop an attack from Guardian Etos. Etos! Guardian Etos! Spooky Mormon Hell Dream! 
You abandoned your mission, partner? What a dick! A Queen's Knight, attack! Why can't I attack him? He cannot be targeted for attacks. Fine, I'll just destroy your Iron Blacksmith. Why do I- Why are there always cars that can't be targeted? Mm -mm. It's not gonna be strong enough. Draw. Hmm. Okay, Monster of Born a material for Dark Magician Girl. Have her go manic. And then use Rope of Life to bring her back with 800 points extra. And that could be enough to like crash into Guardian Etos. With that in mind, let's do this. I activate Monster Reborn. I'll use it to bring back my Queen's Knight. But she's not sticking around for long because I'll tribute her. She summoned the Dark Magician Girl. That is graceful AF. Dark Magician Girl! Attack the face down monster! What a dick. is temporary. I had to be rope of life. I discard my entire hand to bring back Dark Magician Girl, and she gains an additional 800 attack points. I think that monster of his can attack multiple times, and none of, her, none of his other monsters are strong enough to take her on. So once the uh, boost wears off, uh, I can crash right into him. Wait, what the heck? Oh wait, I don't even have to crash right into him. He's weak now. Let's sell this. I have to be pot of greed. This lets me draw two cards. Two freaking cards. Z, z, z. Where's the, oh, there's the lens. Two freaking cards. Hope that got through to you. Dark Magician Girl, attack! Wait. Can I be so listening to Harry, Harry X Girl? Well, this guy can boost this. So attack, Guardian Etos. I end my turn. by banishing Electromagnetic Turtle from my graveyard. I drop. I need to get more monsters in the field to wipe out more of their monsters. Oh wait. Guardian Chaos can't be targeted for attacks. That's just plain stupid. I could summon Queen's Knight. KS can't attack anything. But I can kinda. Well, I can. I can draw out the Grawl to attack. And then, um... 
Hopefully one boss remaining, get another Dark Magician girl, and then... I don't know. I'm kind of struggling at this point. I summon Queen's Knights! <laughs> Queen's Knight will attack the Guardian Elma. And with that, I'll end my turn. You can only destroy one monster. That's the only concession I'm taking away from. What? Uh... I don't need to prevent this one. I switch my Queen's Knight to the- Oh wait, I can't change battle positions because I have Growl. They have Growl. With Queen's Knight on my field, I'll normal summon King's Knight. Since I normal summon King's Knight while controlling Queen's Knight, I can special summon Jack's Knight. Hopefully one of them will protect me. I'll discard Karibo from my hand to prevent all battle damage. I want my mommy. I will set a card. This should help me nicely. I'll tribute King's Knight to summon the Dark Magician Girl. And with that, I'll end my turn. Work. Well, he just flipped it back to attack position. Why was he allowed to flip it back to attack position? Maybe I should wait for him to declare an attack first. Stupid timing. Um, I activate Dark Magic Curtain, paying half my life points to summon the Dark Magician. I should put the Dark Magician in Soul Calibur. Anyway. Dark Magician attack the Guardian Grarl, the weaker one. I am an idiot. Band to put a Dark Magician card in the graveyard and a monster or more in your hand. Okay, that makes sense. And since he didn't play a sealed card this time, I don't lose my soul. So let's try that again. Hey you, watching the video. Do you like cosplay? Why do I even ask? Everybody loves cosplay. Then do I have the bundle for you? This is the Humble Book Bundle, Cosplay Like a Pro. At a $605 value, this is a collection of books to help you start or improve your cosplay aesthetic 
so that you'll be a hit at the next party you attend. So that you'll be dressing in style this Halloween. So you'll be a big hit at the anime convention. I did not plan the script well. But anyway, there's a whole set of books here, starting at the essentials at the lower tiers and more advanced stuff in the upper tiers to help you make the best stain costumes you can possibly make. You'll learn about everything from sewing to sanding to foam armor to weapons and props and makeup and lighting and helmets and armor and some cool designing tricks airbrush painting and wigs and Bondo what the heck is Bondo guess you'll find out won't we <laughs> anyway a lot of cool stuff and every book you obtain this bundle is available in a multitude of ebook formats like PDFs Mobis EPUBs and PRCs proceeds from this bundle support the hero initiative and the book industry charitable foundation if you're at all interested, please use the affiliate link in the description below to help support the channel, because you get to choose where the money goes. How much goes to the publishers of the reading material, how much goes to the charities, how much goes to Humble, and how much goes to me. But you only got till June 17th to redeem this offer, so add quickly. Thank you for listening, and now, back to the video. immediately a mystical space type. I summon Curry Bandit. Wait, does Curry Bandit have to stay on the field for his effect to resolve? Card rulings Curry Bandit. Okay, so the OCG ruling says it's an optional trigger effect that's activated during the end phase of the turn the card was normal summoned. But I got nothing saying that it has to stay on my field. Not that it would matter because, like, I already normal summoned so I can't show you. I'll end my turn. During my end phase, I get to activate my top five cards by tributing Cray Bandit. Any spell or track card, I can choose one spell or track card among them and add them to my hat. The rest go to the graveyard. Our magician can go in the graveyard. So can our magician girl, apparently. Which means my only choices are graceful charity or magical hats. I'll select magical hats. Because I'm gonna need that to get the masters later. I will set a monster face down. And a card as well. Go ahead.
If you want to find my... If you want to attack my big shield garden, you have to find him first. I have to make magical hats. For the empty hats, I select card of sanctity and graceful charity. It's a lose-lose situation. If he attacks an empty hat, he's wasting his time. But if he attacks... Freaking big shield guard that it's 2100 points of damage coming at it. He didn't even bother. I'm smart. Draw. I will set a monster. This guy is smart and he looks. I summon Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit attacks Iron Blacksmith. And at the end of my turn, I'll tribute Curry Bandit to excavate my top five cards again. Let's see, Rope of Life, Star Magician again, I Tamias. Dark Magic Curtain. Dark Magician Girl. The most important thing right now is to get a Dark Magician in my hand, so I will choose the Dark Magic Curtain. Come on, come on, draw! Ah, yes. Hopefully this will work. I activate Dark Magic Current to special summon the Dark Magician. You can't summon other monsters in the same turn. Would that have even worked anyway? Dark Magician plus a dragon with a guy be Amulet Dragon. Do I have any dragons in my hand? No? Well, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, no. Bogus. You and your stupid gravity axe, I swear. Oh, no, you don't. I will banish the Electro Magnetic Turtle from the graveyard to end the battle phase. Drop. Oh, I'm here, Moss. Or I have Huh? I can activate both of these? What do I have that can use them? Club Hermos using a warrior. That would get me Goddess Bow, and I can equip a monster to it. And it can negate me an effect. Wait, hold on. Oh. So, I, to my eyes, can pretty much bypass the other fusion material requirements. That's cool. 
So, Amulet Dragon. What can that do? If it's special summon, target any number of spells in any graveyard. Banish them. If you do, this card gains a hard attack for each card banished. If it's destroyed, you can spell summon the spellcaster. Well, what would Claw at Hermos do? Oh, it would give me a... I, I could go with a warrior, and then it can negate effects, and blah, 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 blah. Well, let's go for it. Go big or go home. I activate the Eye of Tumayas. To, to fuse it with my Dark Magician. To fusion summon Amulet Dragon. With its effect, I will banish all the spell cards from our graveyards. There's a total of eight. Now Amulet Dragon gains an additional 800 attack points. But that's not all I'm doing. I activate the Claw of Haramos! Fusing it with my face down Big Shield Garna. To fusion, to suppose someone that got his blood. And I equip it with my amulet dragon. Now, not only can it negate the first effect you activate each battle phase, but if he does, he can attack twice. Amulet dragon attack, arsenal summoner. And I'll end my turn. You cannot escape me that easy. I summon Queen's Knight. Queen's Knight attacks your Guardian Girl. Don't put it in defense mode, idiot. Amulet Dragon, direct attack! Oh, it's getting even now. I summon King's Knight! Since King's Knight was summoned while I control Queen's Knight, I can special summon Jack's Knight! You know, it's been a while since I brought the band together. Let's have them finish you off. Darts fed you lies, and in a moment of weakness, you allowed your heart to be consumed by the dark magic of the Ocarina. But I could tell that the real you was still in there fighting to break free. I knew what I had to do, force you to face the darkness. You're right, thank you. I get it now. Everyone I turn my back on is still here, and they'll always be with me. Hey, the seal is gone! Where'd it go? Doesn't it usually put on a big green laser show? Yeah, and it usually takes someone's soul, too. So how are you still here? I'm lost. So are we. I have a theory. The seal of Raphael is powered by the darkness within the person who plays it. But Raphael was able to conquer that darkness. So my soul was spared. I'm free. So maybe that's what it is. Like... I have to, like, like, whatever drove me to, like, in order to conquer her, my fear of this card once and for all, I have to conquer whatever the hell would compel me to play that card in the first place. But nothing compels me to play the card. I'm just uh, outright scared of it. So, in order to stop being scared, I have to stop being scared? <sighs> it reminds me of that Albert Einstein equation I saw on Stephen Colbert. E equals E. <laughs>